my last diary was so frantic and you could tell because I had it vertical instead of horizontal, which I know this is how I'm supposed to do this because it was one of those days where everything was falling apart. Add four days and a lot of like uh, almost 24 hour days since then and we found locations, we rehearsed with all the actors, I started buying the props and uh, learning everything about special effects. It's like gunshots. I, I'm not an action filmmaker, director. I'm not Michael Bay. That's a whole other art, but I'm learning it quickly. So I did a crash course on air squibs and like learning how to make it look like people are getting shot with bullets and stuff. And thank God for Google, you know, I'm learning quickly how to do everything this is just kind of a, a word to like the people out there that are independent filmmakers really if you want to get a film made know how to do every single job be prepared to shoot it and be prepared to be the entire actor if you have that attitude which i have a lot of times then you're going to get this film made and to me that's the mindset you have to be in when you are making an independent movie because anything can happen at any time and uh, yeah, I have like a movie about six homeless women and I finally went through, I went through a read through and then I, for two hours each person, I worked one-on-one -on -one through Google Meet and uh, we've rehearsed and answered any question they might have. And I like to give the people the one-on-one -on -one so this way they know what I'm thinking, they know what they're thinking. I'm not gonna embarrass them in front of crew and stuff, we kind of are on the same wavelength found that I could mail a BB gun to uh, New York. Thank God my uh, my producer didn't get arrested. <laughs> I did some research and I said we should be good. Should be. Yeah, we're just excited. I mean, uh, I, I'm very prepared for this. Uh, if we had to shoot tomorrow, I could do it. Uh, but now I'm just gonna keep using that time to uh, get even more prepared. I want, uh, I want us to win some awards. I want to make we make movies proud and I want to make the audience proud that voted us in to win this uh, uh, pitch contest. I'm actually coming up under budget, you know, which is uh, pretty amazing. I guess it's called doing everything with a couple people. Kenneth Shaw, my wife, Deborah Hayden, and myself, we've just been doing so much. Napoleon's uh, famous words were impossible is a word found in the dictionary of fools. Wow, uh, I just heard the, one of the composers, one of the people doing the songs uh, for the movie, and they did wrote such a touching grand finale uh, song. Um, they hit it on the stem with the lyrics and everything, and it's one of those moments where I'm like, I gotta make this film. At the very least, so people hear this guy's song. It is so amazing, and I'm not gonna give it away by playing here. This is just a foreshadow. I, I heard it a second ago, and uh, yeah, um, this is a real movie, and uh, the magic's coming together. Go to WeMakeMovies.org and become a member today.